Hi, Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're just banging out all of these viewer requests. The next viewer request is called Prayer Room by Jarrell Smalls and Company. Now, the original key for this song is E flat, but the request is for D flat. So, of course, I had to learn the song in the original key, and then because I play in all the keys when I practice and when I play, move it down to D flat. That's why it's so important to play your scales so that when you transition or trans, that's the word I want to use, transpose. I had to look at my keyboard. I don't, I don't, that's like a, a foreign word to me. When you transpose a key manually using your head, you've got to be able to hear those same chords in a different tone. So come on in the room. It has an opening. take you right there so if you want to do that opening so that you can feel uh, that you're not you haven't been left out and then you're right there to the top now it's in a quartet style a little up tempo but in a quartet style with the choir so come on in the room and right here to the to this chord. We're gonna hold it for you. So we're doing some choir voicing because the choir voicing again gives you 60 to 75 percent of your chords you're going to do in the song. in this chord chord turn around back. now if I went through too fast with that let me slow it down So it could be right here. Could be your chord. While that lead is drawing, then the choir comes in. Oh, oh, oh. And you're going to go with this chord. Now you could go here while they're doing that up here. Turn. Resolve. Jesus is my doctor. And you gotta turn out back into boom. And you can go with the, you can go to here if you want. As long as you get here. Come out of it again. And it's gonna resolve. get you through that part of the song. Now I gotta go back and listen to the song to see what I might have missed when it, before they get to the, the last change. So I'm gonna mute you while I go back and listen to it in the original key. And you're gonna hear me play along with it kind of to sort of keep the get you the into the 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 feel of what this song is doing. Going on mute.
Okay, so they get to the, re the repeat part of in, of in the prayer room. This is what the bass is doing. That's why scales are so important. If you don't have a bass player, you have one in your left hand. what's happening right there. That's happening there at that part of the song. Now it's going to change into a standardized hymn um, and still keep that beat. Now remember to try to remember what that hymn was. Let me mute again so I can go back to that. There it is. Don't stop praying for the Lord is nigh. Uh, okay, change it. happening in this song a lot of the um, quartet feel with a a uh, contemporary sound throwing in a hymn slash uh, spiritual lyrics it's a mess but that's what gospel music is it's bringing everything together and making it fit now again I did not do it in the original key so I won't put the link in but this, the chorus which you have requested, I have covered in a in the D flat realm. And as always, if you like these videos, if you, and you're not a subscriber, please consider uh, subscribing. We do give those who actually subscribe to us and who view our videos an opportunity to request a song that they are learning currently and may have an issue with picking out the chords or need to put it in a different key to support the choir or the solos that they're playing for. At Sound of Joy, we try to meet the needs of our musician community. So like the video and leave a comment. On to the next. And there are many viewer requests. Take care.